Hi friends, in this video we solve problems related to self-inductance and mutual inductance. The first question is obtain the maximum possible mutual inductance between two coils of inductance 16 entry and 4 entry. So we have two coils with inductance. So that is self-inductance. First coil has inductance, self-inductance of 16 entry. Self-inductance symbol is L1. Second coil has a self-inductance of 4 entry. Okay. So what they ask maximum possible mutual inductance. We know mutual inductance formula is m is equal to k into root of L1, L2. L1, L2 we know what is k. k is coupling coefficient which is 1 for maximum possible mutual inductance. So k is equal to 1. So m is equal to 1 into 16 into 4. M is equal to 8 in D. Right? Simple problem. Next one. Two inductively coupled coils of self inductance of L1 is equal to, okay, they are given L1 50 milli Henry, L2 200 milli Henry. Milli Henry. Coupling coefficient is 0.5. Find mutual inductance. That is the first question. So just now only we saw what is mutual inductance, m is equal to L, k, k is here 0 0.5 they have given, L1, L2, 50 into 200 into 10 power minus 6, this is 10 power minus 3, this is 10 power minus 3, so total 200 minus 6. So it will give, the answer is, uh, what do you call, okay, this is L1, L2, so we get uh, the answer as, 50 into 10 power minus 3 Henry that is 50 milli Henry. Second question you see the maximum possible mutual inductance. Natural by maximum possible mutual inductance just now only we know maximum possible mutual inductance as a coupling coefficient of 1 L1 L2 same 50 into 200 into 10 power minus 6 right. So it will be equal to M is given by Thousand, oh, sorry, 100 milli Henry. Right, this 10 power minus 16 is due to what? 50 milli Henry is 10 power minus 3, 200 milli Henry is 10 power minus 3, total 10 power minus 6. Right, that is our reason. Okay. So, third problem, let us see. Okay. Two identical coils of A and B of 100 turns. Two coils we have. So, they are having 100 turns. Right. So, what they have given, first we write the data. So, two coils, so N1 is 100, sorry, 1000, N2 is 1000 turns. Right? Okay. Next, each lie parallel planes such that 80% percentage of flux produced by one coil links with the other coil. So, 80% links. So, flux linkage is given by pi 1, 2. How much percentage are linking? Let us see, 80%. So 80% means 0.8 into total flux produced is 80% of flux produced by one coil links with other. A current of 5 ampere flowing in a coil produces a flux of 0.5 milliampere. See, now let us assume we have a two coil. Fine, this is 1000 turns. This is 1000 turns, right? So you see in coil A, what happens? Current of 5 ampere flows. It induces 0.5 milliweber. Out of that, 80 percentage is linked to second coil. So flex linkage is 80 percentage of 0.5 milliweber. 0.5 milliweber. Sorry, 0 0.05. What is that? Uh, 0 0.05. Right? So 0 0.05 milliweber. Change the question. 0 0.05 milliweber. So 80 percentage of 0 0.05 milliweber is linked to second. That's what I wrote pi 1 to flux linkage from coil A to coil B or pi AB. So that is given by 0 0.04 into 10 power minus 3 Weber. So here 0.5 milliweber is flowing out of that 0 0.04 into 10 power minus 3 Weber is linked to second one. Okay, fine. Current flowing through the devices, uh, I is equal to 5 ampere, right? So, next one, flex, 
flux in first coil is 0 0.05 milliweber or 10 power minus 3. Okay. What they are asking? If the current in coil A changes from 12 to minus 12 ampere, right? So current changes from 12 to minus 12 ampere in 0 0.02 second. What is the mutual inductance? And the M of induced in the coil. So first we find mutual inductance. Mutual inductance is given by M is equal to if current flows in first coil, then it is inducing the flux in second coil. So pi 1 to current, it is a flux linkage from 1 to 2. You remember like that. So we are going to calculate the inductance in second. So it is N2. Like that, you remember the formula. Right? So the flux is created in flux first coil. That was that's what we have seen. Flux is created in first coil. First coil that is linked with the second one. So flux created by first coil is due to current I one. That is linked to second one pi one two. So we are calculating the mutual inductance in second coil. So n two we put. So what is n two thousand? Right. So pi 1 2 is 0 0.04 into 10 power minus 3. I1 is uh, what do you call? I1 we know. I1 is 5 ampere, right? 5. So this will give M is equal to 8 milli Henry. Fine. So simple problem. Second question you see uh, current changes from 12 to minus 12 ampere. And uh, in 0 0.02 second, what is the EMF? Induced EMF formula E is equal to, what is the formula? E is equal to M D I1 by DT because current flowing in the first coil. So E is equal to D I1, rate of change of current. It is changing from 12 to minus 12. So what is the change? 12 minus 12, so 24 ampere. Clear or not? So it is changing from 12 to minus 12. So total difference is 24. Okay. In 0 0.05 second. So dt is 0 0.05 second. 0 0.05 or 0 0.2? Let us see. It must be 0 0.2 second. Okay. So 0 0.02 second. I change this into 0 0.02 second. So E is equal to M just normally found 8 into 10 power minus 3. Right, di1 is 24, dt is 0.02, so that is EMF is 9.6 volt. Right, so this is the answer for second subdivision. This is the answer for first subdivision. Okay, the next question is the number of turns in the coupled coils are 500 and 1500. So n1 is 500. N2 is 1500 respectively. So current flowing through first coil is 5 ampere, I1 5 ampere. Total flux in coil 1 is 0.6. So pi 1 1. Flux in coil is 0.6 into 10 power minus 3 Weber. What is, and uh, flux linking with the coil 2 is 0.3. So pi 1 2 2 is 0.3 into 10 power 3 Weber. We have to find L1, L2, Mk, right? So self inductance L1 and L2 of coil. So and uh, mutual inductance and the coupling coefficient. So everything they have given, right? Okay. Now first we can find mutual inductance because the formula is M is equal to current flowing in the first coil. So I1, right? N2. Second, uh, we have to take second coil into account because we are going to find inductance in second due to the current flowing in first so pi 1 2 this is what we have seen in problem number 3 also so n2 is 1500 this is pi 1 2 is 0 0.3 into 10 power minus 3 divided by i1 is 5 right so this will give m is equal to 0 0.09 and rate right you understand I am finding mutual inductance in coil 2 because I know current flowing in coil 1 that induces a links flux from coil 1 to 2 and since I am going to find mutual inductance in coil 2 so I take N2 right so this is the way we have to use so M we got next what we are going to see L 
L is given by n pi, n1 pi1 divided by i1. Therefore, I assume L1. Right, so n1 I know, I know, i1 I know, but pi1 I don't know. What is pi1? Pi1 is equal to uh, flex in the first coil itself and flex linking from first and second. So flex in the first coil is 0.6, second coil linking from first and second is 0.3. If you add both, what you get is 0.9 into 10 power minus 3. Weber. So now we got everyone. So L1 is equal to N1 500. Pi 1 is 0.9 into 10 power minus 3 divided by I1 phi ampere. This implies L1 is equal to 0 0.09 Henry. So L1 we got. Okay, next we have to find coupling coefficient. Coupling coefficient is how much uh, flux is coupled from coil 1 to 2. So total flux is pi 1, right? Flux linked from 1 to 2 is pi 1. Two. Out of total flux, how much is linked to second? Total flux in flux 1, uh, coil 1. How much is linked to coil 2? So pi 1 by pi 2. So it is 0.3 into 10 power minus 3. Pi 1 we know 0.9 into 10 power minus 3. So we got k is 0.33. So we got L1 mk. So we can find L2 easily. k is 0.33. So we know m is equal to k into root of L1 L2. k we know. L1 we know, M we know, right? So, what do you get? M squared is equal to K squared L1 L2. What I want? L2. L2 is M squared divided by K squared by L1. M squared we know. What is M squared? It is 0 0.09. So, 0 0.09 whole square divided by K squared. K is 0.33. 3 whole squared into L1, L1 is 0 0.09, Point 0 0.09, this indicates L2 is 0 0.81 Henry, simple, right, so I hope understand all the four problems, if you have any doubt, please ask me in comment section, I will clarify, thank you.